there. Thanks for joining me today. This is Laura Lynn with Keep Inking Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And today is another three card video. Um, in, on these cards, we're going to be using the Positive Thoughts stamp set. I think the stamp set is perfect for the times that we're in these days. I think it's really good to be sending out some encouragement cards. I know people are having a difficult time. Um, dealing with this uh, COVID-19 business. So anyway, we're gonna make a, um, a one layer card today. You know how I love one layer cards using this stamp set. And then I'm going to share some samples of how you can step it up um, with some other supplies. So I am gonna begin with a sheet of, or half a sheet of our thick whisper white cardstock that is um, five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half at four and a quarter to create a standard A2 size card. I'm going to go ahead and open it up to do my stamping. And you'll notice that I have my deluxe foam mat here to do my stamping. This is meant for the Stamparatus, but it is what I happen to like to use when I'm doing my stamping um, with photopolymer stamps. I'm not using photopolymer stamps today. This stamp set is a red rubber stamp, um, but um, I still like to use it. It just gives me a little bit of cushion, and it, it's a cleanable surface, too, when I, when I stamp off the edge, which I will be doing a little bit of today. So I'm going to place my cardstock here on my deluxe foam mat, and I'm going to be stamping the flower from the stamp set. The stamp set has a lot of different images that are really nice. I love this fern image, and especially since it's kind of distressed looking, and the, the butterfly is really pretty, and I love this um, feather, too. I've used that on quite a few cards recently, and we're going to be using this flower. And the sentiments, I think, are just perfect for right now. I'll be using the sending positive thoughts and feel-good wishes, but friends like you mean more every year is also nice and this hug, hugs, prayers, and love is a really lovely um, sentiment to be sending these days. Okay, so for our colors today, I'm actually going to be using um, quite a few colors. I'm going to be using our basic gray for our sentiment, but I'm going to be using our retiring in colors. This time of year is always so sad because um, it's when we see the um, in colors um, going away that we're uh, for the last two years. So these were the colors over, uh, I think they were um, 2018 to 2020, so it means they're retiring this year. It's sad to see these go, but that also means that five new in colors will be coming pretty soon in a couple of months. This time of year, we're in April right now, and as of this moment, all of the colors are available, all of these colors are available in their ink pads, ink refills, and cardstock and accessories, um, but that will change. Uh, about this time of year, things start selling out, and right now they are while supplies last. Um, usually the ink, ink refills go first, so if you happen to have the ink pads and don't have the refills, I highly, highly recommend that you get those refills as soon as possible. Now, I did check um, right before I began filming this video. Today is, um, what is today? It is April 9th. And right now everything's available, but like I said, that can change um, any minute. So the retiring colors are Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover, and Blueberry Bushel. They make a really pretty rainbow, so I like to, to use those. So I'm going to begin with my Lovely Lipstick. And I'm going to ink up my flower image. And I'll stamp this um, here on the edge, just slightly off the edge toward the top. I'm gonna go ahead and close up my ink pad before I get ink everywhere. I'll stamp that over there. And off to the side here, I've got my Simply Chamois. So I can be cleaning off my stamp every time because I'm gonna be changing colors. So I'm gonna clean my stamp. And next I'll take my Grapefruit Grove open that up and I'm going to overlap slightly my red flower and I'm going to try to create a line going across there. I'll close up my ink pad again so I don't get ink on where I don't want it. Clean my stamp. Go to pineapple punch. Wait. And again, overlap just a little bit so I don't run out of room. I'll clean my stamp, close up my ink pad, go to 
Call Me Clover. I'm doing these in rainbow order. You don't have to, but I just think it looks nice that way. So I'll ink up my flower in green, overlap a little bit. Clean my stamp. And end with blueberry bushel. I think blueberry bushel and lovely lipstick are my favorites of these in colors. I'm really sad to see them go, but I am excited to see what new colors will be coming. And this one will overlap a little bit and go to the edge of the paper. And I've got my rainbow of flowers. Isn't that pretty? I'll close that up. So now all I need to do is add a sentiment with my basic gray. Now a lot of times I use black, but I've been starting to use basic gray because it's a little bit softer, not quite so harsh of, an, of a color. And I'll ink up my positive, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. And I'm going to place this on the bottom, a little bit toward the right a little bit. Try to get it somewhat straight. That looks good. Go ahead and clean off my stamp. And I'm nearly finished, but I did want to add a little bit um, to this um, one layer card. So what I have in here is my Champagne Mist um, shimmer paint that I've mixed with uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up a little bit. I'm not gonna spray it, but I do like to have the shimmer kind of um, evenly dispersed throughout the alcohol in here. What I did is I put a little bit of our, a couple of drops of our champagne mist shimmer paint in our, one of our mister bottles, and then I filled it about three quarters of the way with, um, I believe, 70% rubbing alcohol. I've used it quite a bit, so there's not much in there anymore, but what I'm going to do is pull out my mister part here and then just tap it. So I just get some light little splatters of the champagne mist on there. And that way, oh, I got one drop there. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully the light's catching it. It's just adding a little bit of shimmer. So I can close up my card. I don't wanna smear that shimmer. Use my bone folder to get it nice and smooth. And that is my card. Now every time you do that shimmer mist, you'll get a little bit of a different look. Here I have an example of one I did before and the drops were much bigger. It just is different every time. This one's, oops, this one's just a little more subtle. I did wanna show you some stepped up cards as well. This one I used the um, blueberry bushel as the card base and I added some layers here. Um, I added some lovely lipstick and then I used my lovely lipstick Stampin' Blends to color my white crinkled seam binding ribbon um, to add that on there. You can still see a little bit of sparkle of that on there. And um, I stamped on the background with the flower just to add a little bit of texture to the card base. So that's a little bit more stepped up. If you have a big shot and would like to go even further, this card is again a similar layout, but I um, punched out uh, using dies um, to cut out the flowers. Those coordinating dies for this stamp set were only available during the month of March, so I'm hoping that you all pick them up. And if not, you can fussy cut the flowers out. And also included in that um, coordinating die set were these cute little um, leaf images uh, that I could die cut. Um, if you Again, if you don't have that stamp set or stamp, uh, die set, there we have other dies or punches that you could use to, to do some um, greenery in there. I did um, a little bit of um, dry embossing on the background. Um, this is the Grapefruit Grove um, cardstock and I used the Pinewood Planks 3D embossing folder for that. And then for the sentiment, I actually um, die cut that out with the Stitch So Sweetly um, dies. So again, here is my one layer simple card and to step it up, you can add a few more layers and maybe some embellishments like the ribbon 
and then here you can go even further with um, some embossing and die cutting if you happen to have a big shot. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration on how you can um, stamp a simple card or step it up to a more um, involved card using the Positive Thoughts stamp set, which is perfect for um, what we're going through right now. So thanks again so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.